Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we create custom actions in Flow Designer. These custom actions become very essential when you have to build a custom functionality which cannot be implemented by the actions provided by the Flow Designers out of the box. You might be having a very complicated scenario which you have to implement but out of the box actions do not support that or there might be many logics involved which can be hard to implement through flow designers out of the box functionality. So custom actions come to rescue and then we can use these custom actions to achieve the end goal of your requirement. Welcome to my channel. My name is Hardit Singh. I am a technical architect of ServiceNow and if you are liking my content, please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. We will be covering all of these topics in this video and if you want to jump to any of the specific topic, the link will be provided in the description. First of all, what are custom actions? Custom actions are a way to extend capabilities of flow by allowing developers to create a custom logic using JavaScript. As I said in the start of the video, you can apply your custom logic you can write a script using the JavaScript which you use for business rules or script include and that is where they come in handy. Next is why do we actually need custom actions? Custom actions can be created by developers to perform specific tasks or actions within a flow that are not available through out of the box actions. So as we discussed, if the actions are not provided out of the box, you can go ahead and create your own actions and then those actions are reusable also so you can use those actions in multiple flow designers. So whenever you are creating your custom actions, keep in mind that you can build these actions for multiple flows and design the inputs and outputs and the logic and everything accordingly. Next is custom actions can be used to query external systems, manipulate data or perform any other task that can be accomplished using JavaScript. So you can write REST messages using custom actions and integrate to the third party tools as well to bring in data or update data in their system. Next is how can we implement these custom actions. So we have discussed what are custom actions, why do we need them and the last is how can we implement them. Custom actions can be created using custom action flow actions which allow developers to define inputs and outputs for their action as well as JavaScript code that will execute when the action is triggered in the workflow. So we will see a demo in a minute. How can we implement these in ServiceNow? These are the three components of custom action. The first is inputs, then is steps and then output. So you can think of them as a function. So in function you provide parameters. So when you are calling a function you will have to provide some inputs as parameters and in the function you would have written certain line of code. These are the steps or you can say the scripts which you will write which will execute and in the function you can also return the values after executing these scripts. So it is similar to the output here. So input steps and output. From flow designer you will call that custom action and you will be providing the inputs. Next is the steps would be executed. So whatever script you have written or whatever steps you have written in the custom action, those will be executed. And then after execution, an output would be provided by these steps and then that output would be passed back to the flow designer. So this is a basic process of how the custom action works. Now I will take you to service now and I will show you how does the custom action UI looks like. I am in my service now and I will go to flow designer and click on this and the flow designers homepage would open. Now I will click on new and I will click on action here and I can give the name to my action here. So as I said a few minutes ago, so you have to name your action. So everybody knows what this action is doing and it can be reusable in multiple flow designers. So I will go ahead and give the action name as concatenate strings and I will keep everything as same and I will click on submit. And if you see a new action has been created now. So this top section where the concatenate string is written is called action header. So this is the header of the action. On the left hand side we call this as action outline pane. And this at the center is 
step editor and on the right hand side it is called the data pane where all your data will be shown and at the bottom it is called action footer. I will take you back to my slide and quickly show you again what are these called action header, action outline pane, action footer, step editor and data pane. Now in the demo we would be creating a custom action to concatenate caller name category and short description in an incident and update the concatenated string to the description of the incident. So we will be creating an action for this. So if you see we will require three inputs in this. So caller name, category and short description and the output would be the concatenated string which would be updated in the description. So let's go ahead and build this in custom action. Now I will have to provide the three inputs here. So I will click on inputs here and I will create input and here I would have to give the name of the three inputs. So I would start with the caller ID and the name would be automatically populated and I will keep it as string. However, we have multiple types which we can select in the inputs. So you can use it according to your requirement. And I will make it as mandatory and then I will create input again and I will give the category here and I can say it as category ID. I will make it again mandatory and I will create another input called short description and I will keep that as string and again make it mandatory. So it's up to you and your requirement if you want to make your inputs mandatory or not. I will quickly save this because saving is a good practice. And if you see a small plus sign here, it says add a new step. So this is where you have to write your logic. What are you doing? So I will click on this plus and you would see a new pop up window opens and you can select any existing action which is out of the box. So create record, create task, delete multiple records. So if you want to add multiple steps to your action and use out of the box action, so that is also possible. You just cannot write a script, but also you can use the other actions as well. I will scroll down a bit and I will search for my script custom actions. So I have to write a JavaScript. And here you would see there are two parameters inputs and outputs. So we have already defined our inputs here and then we have to use those inputs as variables in this step. So I will again click on create variable and here I would give the name as caller ID. I can name it anything else also, but I would give the same name which we had defined in the first step of inputs. So in this input variable, I will just drag and drop this caller ID, which we will receive from the flow designer. I will give the second input variable as category ID and drag and drop category ID and then third would be short description and then I will drag and drop the short description here and similarly we will have to define an output variable here so what would be the output so I will create variable here and then name it as maybe concat string and the name would be automatically populated and I will make this as mandatory. So that means this script should return a concat string type of output variable. And similarly, we had defined input variable and output variable. We will have to define an output also. So when I clicked here at the bottom in the action outline pane, I get an option to create an output. I will click on this. And I will give the variable name as maybe again concat string. I will keep the type as string and I will make it mandatory. And I will exit the edit mode. And you would see a new output has been created. Now in the script step which output variable I had created concat string, I will drag and drop that here. So that output variable which was created in this step here concat string it is mapped to my outputs. So you will get used to this inputs input variables output variables and outputs. So this is how service now has built the custom action structure. Now the main part is to write the code. 
so i will go here and start writing my code and i would say where c string so that means the concatenated string is equal to inputs dot and then i would have to use the input variable here so i will copy caller id i will concatenate it with a space and then inputs dot category id then i will add another space and then inputs dot short description and now i have to map this concatenated string to the output variable for that i will use outputs so these are the parameters here inputs and the outputs so outputs dot and then i will give the name here which is concat string and i will paste it here and i will set the value as c string and now my output variable has been set and after my output variables will be set it will be sent to the outputs of the custom action i will save this and publish this after publishing i would be able to use this custom action on my flow designer so to use this custom action on flow designer i will click on plus and i can create a new flow otherwise you can test this custom action here as well before implementing it to your flow designer so i will do a quick test by clicking test and i will have to provide all these three values which are mandatory because we had set them as mandatory in the inputs so i can just say maybe hardit category inquiry and short description as server is not working and i will run this test and this run test has finished and if i go here i would see these are the three inputs which we had given and the concat string is hardit inquiry server is not working so this is the concatenated string which has been sent as an output data so this is working as expected now we will see how can we implement custom action into the flow designer i will close this cancel and i will again click on plus and create a new flow designer for that i would name it as incident concatenated description and i will click on submit now a new flow has been created and if you want to learn basics of the flow designer from the start please click on the top right corner i will add a trigger here on created and i will give the table name as incident so whenever a new record is created on the incident table this flow will automatically run i'll create an action here to add my custom action so i would search for that custom action which we, i had created and i would say concatenate string so it has shown me under global my custom action concatenated strings and again it has shown me three mandatory fields here so i will first of all expand this incident record and then i will go to the caller id here and i will expand this caller also to get the name of the user so i will scroll down and search for the name and i will drag and drop this name here similarly i will go for category i'll scroll down a bit for category and drag and drop this category here and similarly we will drag and drop the short description so i will go here and drop this into this text box and i will click on done so once i have defined this custom action you would see on the data pane that i am getting the output here when i have given all the essential things called concat string so this was our output if you remember so i will have to use this to update into the incident records description so i will add a new action here and i will search for update record and click here and then i have to define which record i have to update which is the incident record and it picks the table name automatically and which field i have to update i would select here in my case it's description and i will just have to drag and drop this output 
here and this description would be automatically updated to the concatenated string. I will click on done and I will save this and activate it. And now this flow designer is active and it will run according to the logic defined in the custom action. I will go to my service now main screen and I will type incident dot list here and a list will of incidents open and I will click on new to create a new incident. I will give the caller as system administrator and I can maybe select the category as software and give a short description here. My software is not up to date and I will submit this. Now it should concatenate all these three color category and description and you would see it has automatically done that description has been updated to the name of the caller which is the system administrator. This is the category and this is the short description of the incident. So this is how easy it is to create a custom action and implement that in service now and use flow designers to call the custom actions. If you have any questions related to custom actions, please let me know in the comments. And if you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button.